Hi everybody, welcome to our desalination experiment. So des desalination is what? Is uh, obtaining drinking water from? From seawater or from salt water. Exactly. So, yeah? Mm, yes, you take the salt out and you have water left over, you can drink it. Of course, if you're lost on, a, on say, an island somewhere, you're stranded and you have all you have is seawater, what are you going to drink? Well, obviously, you have to desalinate the water before you, you can drink exactly. it. Exactly. You can't drink yes. seawater or you can't throw up, right? Yes. So what we're going to be doing today is we will, um, what you do first is first put, um, pour 750 milliliters of water. And we don't have any seawater, so uh, we're going to... Uh, Fake that in a way by adding salt yes. to this clean drink water. And we have this really, what is this? New Zealand pure salt, fine sea salt. And this is come from New that? Zealand. And where did they get the salt? Well, they took it out of the ocean. Well, we're going to put it back in the ocean. We're going to seawater again with it. And we already figured out that uh, um, salt content in seawater is approximately 3.5%, which means, which works out to about six teaspoons per 750. Uh, milliliters. Mm. Uh, there you go. You did the math. You do the honors. How many teaspoons again? Six. Six. Okay. Six. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. And Adam, you did the math. So this is actually a teaspoon right here. Well, just about. Yeah. Uh, okay. and, and basically, you know, so the salt is now in, inside. We don't, we don't need to worry about um, uh, dissolving it because as soon as we heat it up, it's just going to dissolve itself right mm. away. Right? Mm. So what's going what's to happen now is we will uh, put this on a grill, on a regular barbecue, and uh, uh, bring it to a slow boil. Mm. It's very important that it's uh, uh, boiling slowly and not violently because if it splashes around, then uh, that seawater is going to get back into our clean drinking water container. Mm. So what we're going to do is uh, place this container like so, and it doesn't really matter, it floats, right? It's just mm. going to be sitting there, it's not going anywhere. And we will take a regular lid and turn it upside down. And so, uh, so how is this going to work? Yeah, how does this work, Adam? Well, the water, after it's mixed with the salt, of course, it create, if you hit at heat, it becomes steam, right? Then the steam doesn't have the salt in it. Um, the steam goes up, and it touches here, and then it condenses, and then drip, and then, and then drips down to this point, and falls back into the the little pen that we have in the center here. The salt stays at the bottom because it has 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 left when you add the heat. The steam is also called pure water vapor, and it does not contain any impurities because all the impurities are left behind in the bigger pot. Yes. Uh, so voila, that's about it. Let's let's just do it. Let's see how it works. Okay, so here we go, guys. So this is. Uh, part two of our experiment, I think we're almost done. Uh, so we're slow boiling this water, and uh, you can see some of the water vapor is escaping, but most of it is just uh, in there. So what happens, as we predicted, is the water vapor condenses here on the lid, and then drips down to the center and goes back into the clean water container. Theoretically, it should be clean water. If it did, in fact, splash around while boiling, because if for a while it was boiling a lot, mm -hmm. uh, there could be some salt water still in there. But uh, yes. we do have our guinea pig right here right, with us. Exactly. Our guinea pig, his name's Anthony. He volunteered to try if, in fact, it is seawater or drink, drinking water. <laughs> yeah, so just to explain very quickly, if the, when the water turns into steam, the Excuse steam me. has no salt in it. Okay, it, cannot, it doesn't carry salt in the, in the steam. When the steam hits a cool surface, it stays there for a moment, then it condenses, it becomes water again. Now you need to control where the water will go. So you make it so that it will drip down to this point right here. The water runs down and drips back into the center. And then the, then this will be water without, without salt. Now the problem with this experiment is, we let it boil for a long time. And when, when it boils, sometimes the water splashes, and some salt could splash into it because of the boiling. And I can already okay. see some of it actually did yeah. splash back in there. So it's, it's possible white, there so is a bit of salt in there, but it's not it's because of the not vapor. A lot. It's because the boiling makes it splash in. Yes. That would be a reason why it may not work. But I can try it. Again, anyway. just like maybe you could also describe the, the, the other thing. Uh -huh. We could have we could have done this experiment without any 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 fire at all. Uh, uh, you know, but it would have to be a lot hotter on a hot 
Well, it's pretty on sunny day. You could put a piece of tarp or a piece of plastic. Plastic wrap yeah. uh, on top of this this bigger pot and without any flames, without any fire source, you could repeat it, but it will take uh, a lot longer, maybe Given a long five time, hours. the water will actually vaporize just because of the hot sun. Yeah, okay. but it takes a long time. So here we go. Let's try. Okay. It should be pretty clean, I think. Yeah, it's it's not it's fairly clean. A little contamination, right? It doesn't taste salty. Okay, well that's it has a that's taste, all, but it's that's not all salty. we want. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Now you now you guys know what to do. We can just continue with our experiment anyway, right? All day long. Let's see how much water, how much clean water we can obtain, right? From this seawater. Okay? We can even do it tomorrow too, it doesn't matter, right? Okay, here we go. So guys, seawater, drinking water, water vapor. Vapor, okay? Or steam. No, I'm just kidding. It's good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good.